So we can now simply say return VPN location import this VPN location card widget here above we can say import and remove this unused packages inside the all widgets we have VPN location card widget dot dot file so we can say VPN location is VPN location card widget VPN location card widget and we have to pass one thing to it as a parameter and that is the VPN info VPN info which is controller VPN location controller dot free services VPN free services available list index that is one by one we are displaying okay using this VPN info colon okay VPN info is basically the VPN information which is receiving here as you can see here okay so one by one the value of this VPN info that is one by one each server each VPN server information we are passing from this list and we are displaying it with the help of this widget which is basically this UI code using this card UI code we are displaying it here okay so yeah that's it this is all about how we can display the available VPN server on the available VPN server location screen so now uh, as you know that to come here to the screen we have to add a click event on the bottom navigation button on our home screen if you remember here we have this let me show you we have bottom navigation bar and this button okay inside it the on tap which is the select country location button so when the user tap on it you will simply say get dot to and we will send the user to our screen which is available VPN server location screen so we can say available VPN servers location it is by this name let me confirm it okay available VPN server location screen it is so if you want if you want to add a screen keyword with it select this okay this name right click on it rename and simply add screen with it at the end and click on the refractor so it will do the changes okay so as you can see automatically it basically change the spelling okay just like this as you can see automatically you do the changes where this is used this class available VPN server location screen is used it will automatically do the refractoring that is rename it so when the user tap on this button we will send the user to the screen one more last thing that we will do here on our home screen is inside the widget build we can call here our VPN engine dot snapshot VPN stage snapshot VPN stage dot listen home controller dot VPN connection state dot value and assign the event to it 
Now if you remember uh, this snapshot VPN stage, it will listen for the event that is it will listen for the stage of our VPN and it will get the latest stage and that stage is basically inside this event and that will be assigned to this VPN connection state dot value. So now let's just uh, test the application. Let's install it on our phone and let me tell you you have to test this application on your real Android smartphone not on the emulator okay. So the app is running now and now when we click on this select country location you can see it is loading that is gathering free VPN locations. And let's check the run. And here we go. Here we get the locations. So it gathers around 99 VPN servers or you can say 99 VPN location from different countries like Korea, Republic, Japan, Colombia and Canada, you can see Russia, United States, Vietnam and much more you can see here Thailand and so on you can see that you can scroll and see it and the information uh, which uh, I mean the information which comes with the VPN server which we display in our uh, using our VPN location card widget you can see here first we have the country flag then the country full name then we have the speed of for example for this specific Korea Republic connection VPN server this is the speed and the number of sessions or you can say number of people who are currently connected to this VPN R2 number of sessions and similarly for each VPN server location for example for Japan you can see the speed the country name the flag and the number of sessions with each country you can see here for example for Colombia the Colombia flag Colombia title subtitle we see the speed and then at the trailing we see the number of sessions you can see that similarly for Canada the Canada flag uh, in the leading and then at the title we see Canada country full name and then at the subtitle we see the VPN speed which is this one for Canada location VPN location and then the number of session for this one is 235 so now let's connect to anyone let's say if I want to connect to Vietnam I will simply click on that and that is something that we will implement in the next video that is when the user click on any uh, VPN location let's say Vietnam let's say Russia or let's say Japan then we have to let the user connect to that specific VPN server so we will implement that in the next video